Well, hi there. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see me okay. Happy New Year, everybody. I, uh, I'm really, really excited. Alicia will be here in a moment. I, and, and sorry uh, to be getting started late. I had one of those moments where you're about ready to start your live stream and you put the orange juice away and it pours out in your refrigerator. We've all been there, right? Right before your live stream. Anyway, is that you, Lishi? There's orange juice pouring out? No, I cleaned it up. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> I didn't want you to find that after the live stream. <laughs> Surprise! Um, but I have been thinking a lot about 2020. Obviously, it was a crazy year. For all, here, I can bring it down now. You know how much headspace we need. 2020 was a crazy year for all of us. Yes. Um, and, and obviously, you know, a lot of us have gone through some really, really hard times. I mean, you know, we've, we've certainly had our struggles and there are a lot of people that have had much greater struggles mm -hmm. because of things like COVID and just, oops, and just the, the general difficulties of this year. But as, as I, we've been looking back on it, it's like a lot of incredible things have happened. Probably there are a lot of you that, you know, as you look back on this year, it's like, man, it is amazing how much awesome stuff has happened. In fact, if there are really exciting things you'd like to share, like I'd love to see those start yeah. popping up and in the chat. Reading them, all the awesome things that happened to you in 2020. Absolutely. And if you're not watching this live, please comment them in the comments on this video because I do see that stuff. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, we all need, I think, a little positivity, uh, sure. especially as we roll into 2021. You know, we, we have an opportunity to start anew and and i think uh so far things are looking better for this year yeah. than 2020 but i was i was looking back on this last year um so much has happened for for our family and for clinch reptiles uh i, I made a giant list there's my giant i've got a giant <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, Alicia's like, Alicia's like, I might be a couple minutes late. I'm like, don't worry, I got lots to talk about. And I've heard we have lots of Patreon questions today. Yeah, and it's gonna be a fun day. And, and I, I really, one thing I want you guys to be turning on too, and and maybe start commenting after you've talked about all the cool things that have happened with you, is, uh, you know, what what would you like to see from Clint's Reptiles in 2021? Because I'm realizing so much happened with this channel in 2020. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are sharing really awesome things that happened oh, yeah. already. You want me to read? I want, yeah, I'd love to hear a couple. Lily Hewer said, I got a crested gecko. Good um, choice. Ricky Troy mostly said, 2020, I found cleanse reptiles and started doing better at providing my pets the care they need. Uh, Matt as rabbit said, I got a snake, two morning geckos and learned how to knit. And I'm about to finish another blanket. That's awesome. That is super cool. I've always wanted to learn how to knit. You I learned how to crochet like in seven minutes. Stop. She, she one time, this was years and years ago. She's like, I'm going to learn how to crochet. I'm like, okay. Cause if it were me, maybe in a year I'd have something crocheted. <laughs> Like later that day, Alicia's like, here's the blanket I made. No, it was a hat for Owen. Remember the little owl hat that that is. It was insane. <laughs> but and to me, to... textiles are just witchcraft, right? <laughs> like, like I don't know how that turned into a hat. Yeah. I really want to learn how to knit, though. Knitting's really fun. At least I assume it's really fun. It looks <laughs> really pretty. Um, Nick Turner said, I got engaged in 2020. Woo! That's awesome. Um, let's see. What else? RW said, finally got a first reptile. Um mm -hmm. This is so cool. Natasha right? Peterson said knitting is fun. <laughs> <laughs> See, the people that knit, no. Maybe maybe 2021 is your year for knitting. Maybe 2021 <laughs> is my year for knitting. I but, like it. Be, before before the before COVID totally wanes, you need to learn how to how to knit. That seems yeah. like the kind of thing you should walk out of COVID time like, I'm a knitter. My eyeballs are hurting. I cut onions this morning for oh. our breakfast. And usually I buy sweet onions because they're a lot sweeter and they don't burn and I like the taste better, but they were all out of sweet onions. So I did regular onions and my eyes are still burning. You also had something that I would have almost cried over, which is Leisha squeezed herself a full glass like of fresh glass. squeezed orange juice <laughs> and then spilled it on the counter. I knocked it over. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. Like my heart just was like, oh. I know there's like this much left in the glass that I just <laughs> sipped it sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreak. Yeah. So maybe 2021 is not looking uh, so good. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it doesn't go off of that. 
Well, uh, can I, here I want to yeah, I want to talk about list. just a couple of things and keep keep reading these two. Okay. So one of the things was we went to Nerd, uh, which was awesome, and you know we got to film some incredible videos, and yeah. I really just got to spend time with Kevin and all the awesome people at Nerd. Everybody was so so nice to us there, and we had a blast. One of the things, obviously, that I did there was I handled my first King Cobras. Yeah. I, I, I have since touched one more King Cobra just to add to my list. You guys actually can see that on Chandler's channel. That was a very grumpy King Cobra as well. It was freaky. And I was just hanging out with the kids outside, yeah, like, watching. watching, like, please. I didn't know you were watching, and Lucia had videos of it on her phone, and I'm like, oh, my I'm a smart girl following my family. <laughs> um. Along, along with those lines, as I flew back from Nerd, I watched my Kansas City Chiefs win their first Super Bowl in 50 years and the first one in my lifetime, Yeah, which was extremely exciting. I was feeling bad because Clinty has loved the Chiefs his entire life, had been following the season, so excited, and then he had to watch it on the airplane coming home, and I was like, oh, no. So we went to my sister's house and had a huge party. I, like, wore mm -hmm. all of Clint's cheap stuff and sent him pictures and yelled really loud for him. <laughs> I was wearing my jersey and a hat, but it was broadcast on the plane, which is why it's fortunate that Jason scheduled the tickets to Nerd and not me, because I probably would have had us fly Frontier and there are no screens of any kind. Yeah. <laughs> the seats don't even recline. It's like riding on a bus. Oh, it's worse than a Sky bus. Sky bus. Short. <laughs> I'm only 5'3", and those seats are hard for me to sit in. Sorry, Frontier. I guess we probably won't be sponsored by Frontier anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I think I think I actually have this mentioned somewhere later on. But uh, we bought lots of Tascam. Uh, DF are... said, "I met the girl that I fell in love with. I got a rainbow boa, blue tongue skink, and a hog nose. What a year! That's amazing. What an incredible year! I love. Somebody started off with my name. I saw that. Thinking about getting another reptile. So oh, we'll have to talk about this." Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I whoo, just recently, because of all the the craziness, we got to see our first ever Chiefs game. Yeah. In my that was so I'd never been to a Chiefs game. We got to do collaborations with Dave Kaufman. I actually a couple times with Dave yes. yep. uh, this year, and with Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife, and with Tyler Nolan, and Reach Out Reptiles. Brian Cusco. Brian Cusco, Aquarimax, the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Uh, we we started a partnership with Josh's Frogs, which has been awesome. Uh, our daughter Martha was born in our house because in of, our bathtub. Yeah, you know, because of because of COVID concerns, we decided to have her here, and we had medical professionals that were supposed to be here when she was born. She came too didn't, fast. Didn't go that way. It was just me and Clinty. <laughs> so it was amazing. That was an incredible adventure, and we talked about that on one of our yeah. live streams. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I think I know. I mentioned. Did I mention? Oh, I didn't. I didn't move it up. Great Basin Serpentarium is another one that we got yeah. to work with uh, this last year, and I think I mentioned this one already. But the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, yeah, we did. established a, a partnership with them, and so we'll be releasing a few videos from there. So I'll let your mind run wild with what we would do if we had access to an entire aquarium. Which this aquarium also has a few different. Oh yeah, it has all kinds wings, of wings. Cool where there's like a South America wing, which is Clinty's favorite. There's an Asian Asia wing, and it's not just water. No, it's, not at all. It, but it's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing place. Yeah. Um, Clint's reptile room briefly opened. Uh, so so really, we are we we first got in there December of 2019. By the time we were ready at all to open, the world shut down, and so. Uh, you know, it was shut down and we really weren't sure we would survive. Uh, thanks to Jason and thanks to you guys and the, the live face-to-face -face chats, we're making it. We're, we are surviving. The, the reptile room is making it through COVID. And it, it is literally 100% because you guys are coming to visit. It is 100%. 100%. Or it would be gone already. It would. It's 100%. 100% you guys have saved it with, with because of Jason and, and, and we are. So schedule so a one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, They please. are amazing. And. People do ask, like, what does that include? People around here who have just seen the reptile room as they drive by and know nothing about the channel, they'll call and be like, what does that include? Like, is it just, I don't know. And it always sounds boring, what they ex describe to me. And I'm like, no, it's amazing. You get to mm. literally hang out with Clint one-on-one -on -one in the reptile room. He'll pull out any animals you want to, talk about whatever you want. And it's 
it's amazing. It's so fun. Yeah, it, it re, it, like I, I feel like everybody who's come has had a great time, and I sure have had an amazing time getting to know you guys. Like it's yeah. it's incredible. In fact, I I think I mentioned that in greater detail later on. Uh, <laughs> Moana. Is that Moana's here? Moana just sent a super chat. Clinty and Lee, she equals the best. We love you. <laughs> Thank Moana's you, Moana's my sister-in-law, and she looks like Moana from Disney. Yes. Except prettier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Moana. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, let, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. My goodness. So many things. We I, I had to shift all my classes to teach online, which actually has... You just kind of spawned all kinds of things, but it's been a really awesome experience. Uh, Leisha started a, a YouTube channel. Michelle started a YouTube channel. I think they're both in kind of quasi hiatus at the that's moment. That's not true. Okay. I have quite not a few at all. videos filmed. But, yeah, that is true. That's true. Are you, like, you going to release them again? Yeah. Yes. I have a video. So every time we go on a vacation, I scrapbook it by making a video. Mm -hmm. I'm so And I've been doing that ever since. Always. Always. I yeah. love it because... My memory, it needs something to jog it, and then all of a sudden, like, I'm back there. Uh -huh. But, and, and and these videos that she's always made of our vacations, I'm like, oh, my gosh, we have to do more vacations. Yeah, so we, so oh, I always make a little video of our vacation, so obviously I was going to do that for this one, but Clint's like, you should release it on your on your new channel, and I'm like, really, should I? So yeah. I think I will. So that's one of the really fun videos. I am I'm so excited for that one. But where we're going to Miami. <laughs> I, I'm so excited because we did so many fun we things. Did. We like, did so many amazing things in Miami, in and in just a few days. Yes, yeah, and and really for the most part without hardly seeing any people, it was just like we went yeah. and explored. It yeah. was so cool. It was amazing. It was okay, so cool. keep okay. going. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we started doing weekly live streams. These that we never did those before, but during during sort of the lockdown period, it's like well we. We started doing it, and we've been yeah. having so much fun. It's been so enjoyable. Robin so. George said, remind me of Michelle's channel name. Uh, they linked it up above, but it's Lily Michelle. Yep. And yours? Why not me? And when I look for the why not me, Lily Michelle I can find by just doing a yeah. search. When I'm looking for why if not me, why not me Leisha, I have to. It'll come up. Hmm. Why not me, Leisha, L-E-I-S-H-A. Or I always just do a filter for channels, and then it's the first one. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's that's how I find it. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, in those weekly live streams, we had two wraps. No big deal. How many live streams have we done now? What, what number is this? Is this? See, somebody tell me. Jason somebody tell me. You it don't says, even know. No. <laughs> Lots. Uh, we'll get to it. We'll, do, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. 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 Um, oh, in, in 2020, we gained half of, a little more than half of the subscribers that we have. So wow. like half of the people that know of this channel probably found it 2020. in 2020. That's insane. That That's is, really that crazy. is insane. And, and more than half of our all time views also of, of our videos. Wow. So, so literally like half of you guys that know about us probably found us in 2020. I was just looking at our shirts and they totally clash. We should coordinate our clothes. Cla greens clash? Well, mine's like a yellow green and yours is a cool green. Sorry, guys. Ruined and everything it kind of doesn't greens. look nice on camera, does it? Oh, dear. We should really coordinate. Usually right before, I'm just throwing clothes on yeah. and trying to get down yeah. here as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, I've been dressed for hours. It seems like if you want to coordinate. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, we, we did our first videos on mammals. This year, we did our first uh, non-tetrapod fish. Huh? huh? Like the way I put that? Okay. Stingray? Yep. Is that a non-tetrapod fish? Yeah, well, all the... I, I would consider the reptiles and the amphibians and the mammals and the birds to be fish. fish. Naughty. <laughs> Just to upset everybody. Yeah. Um, we, we, we did our very first arthropod video at the end of 2019 on the jumping spider. Yeah. But... Most of our most of our arthropod videos have come in in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty has been a big year. Keep going. I guess we had a feeder insect video, top That's five feeder insects, That's also true. before that. I might um, These onions. You may sneeze. Okay. Permission to sneeze. You can't catch COVID through the computer, <laughs> I don't have and COVID. we have no evidence that Leisha has COVID. I just have onion eyes. You have onion eyes. <laughs> um, we gave the lowest score we've ever given. 
To humans. To human children. Yep. Um, zero points. Zero point six out of five. <laughs> Yeah, and they earned every bit of that, 0. <laughs> 0.6. Um, I finished my PhD, that was which big. was a huge big deal. Big. Um, via the face-to-face -face chats, we met tons, tons of great friends, including our awesome friend, Anthony Simone, um, who I actually think right now okay. would be a good time to have him on. Anthony, if you want to go ahead and hop on I Zoom. Think he is already. Okay. And I was going to like look up YouTube tutorials on how to do this the fancy way. We're going to do it. Geez, this you is know the... what? Having kids and Christmas <laughs> season and extended family and the volunteering we do at church, there was just no time. Sorry. We're going to do it the old school. He'll, 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 he'll be in here in a moment, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I, do have, I do have one last thing. Why don't, while we we'll wait for about Anthony. our merch this year. Oh, my gosh. We added all sorts of new merch, including... Yeah. Masks, which obviously we didn't have. Can you imagine? The well, hi there mask is my favorite. It would it's seem so pretty cute. sketchy if we had masks in 2019. <laughs> We're like, just, you might just want some of these. <laughs> that would be sketchy. It's go well, I guess at the end of COVID-19, we, we might have seen it. Uh, yeah, and then we had we had our Christmas shirts. We've got all sorts of new shirts, and I think yeah. a lot of cool new stuff coming on. Oh, the really? Discord. The Discord. The Discord server. Uh, there was an amazing uh, fan suggested and then fan created Discord server, which is still out there. And then... Because we were so impressed with that, uh, we finally took your advice and created an official Clinch Up Tiles Discord server. On there, they're doing cool things about like suggestions for merch, and, and they're submitting designs for merch. I'm super excited about that. Uh, AJ the Skink said, if you can get to 500K subs this year, you should sh shave your beard. No. I like his beard. I shaved my beard just so I could be Newt's commander. That's true. Who has? I think, he, I think Newt discovered us in 2020, maybe. I think really? I think he said that, and he wow. he has become our our top commenter on on our videos and stuff. Wow! Uh, and I got to meet him in a face to face chat, which was really fun. Yeah, he's an awesome, good. awesome person, yeah. and I, I hope my kids grow up to be like him. Yeah, um, Frank even said that after talking with him. Oh, like, yeah. I I really hope Owen is the kind of kid that that knew his car. His name is Carson. Oh, Oz, you reminded me of yourself. My computer got peed on by a reticulated python that was sent to me by Reach Out Reptiles and destroyed. <laughs> and Oz saved us by providing a new There's computer, a new which computer. we use constantly. I teach yeah. all my classes with and everything. Yeah. It's it's here for computer. the live streams. Really, it was. It was oh a huge it was giant a super blessing. Huge blessing. Okay. So, okay. 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 Well, I got Anthony, so I'm going to bring Anthony in. Says he's joining. We'll let him sync his his audio and and whatnot. Okay. All right. Hi, okay, oh, go away. Hello, I am seeing your text, Jason. I, actually, I wasn't before that. <laughs> there is our good friend, Anthony. Say hi, Hello, Anthony. Everybody. Say, well, hi there. Well, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> An That's fun. Anthony, it, it's been really fun. There, there are, there are a, a handful of people that have done a number of face-to-face -face chats at the Reptile Room. And, and it's been so cool because, like, we've legitimately been able to become really good friends. And it, it's just, it, it's, it's, been, it's been really, really cool. Uh, you know, one, one of those people that, that uh, has done a number of them is Stephen Shepard. And, and he recently was uh, making a cross-country journey because he just helped his aunt move. And, uh, and he was coming by the reptile room. And we're, we're totally closed. But I'm like... Uh, I'll, I I can open it up. We got to let Steve in then. Yeah. And, and and so you know, Stephen got to come by and, and check things out for a little bit. And Anthony, you know, we we are kind of planning eventually to check out the Bronx Zoo together. And and yes. you know, he we we've done we've done face to faces here. Anthony is an incredibly talented musician and genuine rock star. Wait, you didn't say all the ways he's supported the channel. He's supported the channel so much and in our in in our in a, and, yeah and the room in our in our live streams through face to face chats, uh, he, and and just just through being a good friend, and and, sending really awesome gifts like your skulls. Oh your my gosh, I have been using them like so your much. Gorilla. Our giant super girl. I I can't even begin to list the ways that Anthony has blessed this channel. Anthony is a very talented musician and super talented. and he's he's. Uh, sung for me several times during our face-to-face our -face chats and and he's come and he's uh, you know Leisha uh, who is also a very talented musician you know she's sung with Anthony well in in Clint's reptile room as as any proper reptile room there is 
a piano. And and Lishi, will you will you show us? Yeah. Something. Get get Anthony close over on that side. Oh, uh, move okay. it over, yeah. And then I'll move this up. Can I see what we do did or? Absolutely. So because Anthony's helped us so much and he's such a good friend, we decided that we wanted to dedicate the piano in the reptile room to Anthony. So we got a plaque printed and we're going to put it up on the piano. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> so this is Anthony's plaque. You, it, you, you can come That's to the so reptile cool. room. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. Thank you guys so much. I, I, I do not deserve that. That is incredible. I do everything I do for you guys because you guys are legitimately my friends. Uh, I, I care about you guys. You guys are you have all my love, and, and you and your family are amazing. And you guys are doing phenomenal work, both the two of you. And 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 that's why I do what I do. But this is this is an amazing surprise. And, and thank you guys. Thank my friends. Thank so you. Much. We're that so was, excited. That far too nice. That's incredible. Thank it you says, so much. It says, with our greatest appreciation. Here, I'll bring it down so Anthony can see it. Oh. Here. Yeah. With our greatest appreciation, we hereby dedicate this piano to Anthony Francis Simone in recognition of, for his humbling commitment, continual support, and dedication. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. So uh, we're thank excited to have the piano at the Reptile Room dedicated to Anthony. And whoever plays it will see this plaque and know that it's his. Absolutely. I'm, I'm hoping to come out to see you guys after my semester this uh, this school year. So hopefully I can play the piano that's dedicated to me. Thank you guys so much. Uh, well, I look forward to it very, very much, Anthony. Thank you again so much. Wakanda forever. Wakanda, yes, Wakanda forever. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Anthony. Talk to you soon. <laughs> You guys mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Thank you, Anthony. Bye. That was, that fun. was fun. I'm glad you did that. that was... Even the old fashioned way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're, so we are technologically <laughs> super advanced. We make Brian Cusco look like nothing. Brian Cusco was here. I don't know if he still is, but. He was here? Yeah. Brian, did you see that? You think your thing was pretty fancy with us? <laughs> <laughs> doing Zoom oh, in a live goodness. stream, yeah. Nothing like my high-tech solutions. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Well, I think, I think we... Let's see. Have oh, I, have, I have one more big announcement. Uh, this, is, this, is not, this is not a thing that will happen in 2020, for 2020 is over, but it is something awesome happening because of 2020, which is, in 2020... I was looking for a lot of stuff I could do that didn't involve humans. And so I did a lot of herping. Now, over the years, I have filmed myself herping a lot. And none of those ever turned into videos. Yeah. And I've thought, I must be horrible at filming myself herping. But nonetheless, I've been doing it all year in 2020. Yeah. And tomorrow, we will be releasing our first ever Clint's Reptiles herping video of the 2020 so we talked about it at a, on a live stream everything you shared your list you're like this this herping season these are all the things i want to find and then you had a few bonuses so this is that video of clint finding all the things on his list it's it, a really fun video it's everything it's everything well i don't have more stuff after this it's all of 2020 but if you guys want to see us do more of that kind of thing in the future please please uh support this video you know like it comment on it let us know yeah. That you want to see more stuff like this, please check it out. It'll be it'll be tomorrow's video, and I'm I've seen it, and it's awesome. And I'm I'm super excited. I'm like I can't film myself. Or her. <laughs> I'm like I watched Dave Kaufman do it. It seems like I'm doing the same thing. I must stink at this. No, it turned out great. It's really fun, and I actually wanted to watch it again and again because it's just fun to watch. The editors did really well. I like mm -hmm. the music choice. It's upbeat, and it's just fun. It's a fun video, and, and I find some cool really stuff. cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ellie, Lisha told me the most like flattering and exciting thing ever too. She, yeah. When 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 she watched it, she's like, "This is exactly what it's like going herping with you." Yeah. Um, it and is. that that makes me feel really good. And I like I like learning. I like learning about animals. When we went to the Amazon, when I was seventeen mm -hmm. years old, and we had a tour guide there, and he was Peruvian. And he was talking, we saw leafcutter ants and he was teaching us about the leafcutter ants and we saw a few different things. And I, like, that was my favorite part was learning about the world and then, and nature and 
animals around me. And so when I go with Clint, that's what I love. Like you can see this little ant and you're like, oh, cool. An ant, you walk by. But then Clint will be like, do you know why these are so awesome? And give you like 18 facts of why they're so <laughs> rad. And you're like, these are rad. I can't believe I just walked by that. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyway, sorry. Is that it's, no, I love it. It's I'm anyway. I'm super duper excited about it, and I I really uh, can't wait for you guys to to see it and just yeah. get to hear what you think. If about you want to go herping with Clinty, literally, it's it's tomorrow. You can do that. And and and, and honestly, like if you guys want us to make more videos of me out herping, one thing too is like I've been talking to Michelle. Michelle is an incredible videographer. Yeah. And, and she started out as an incredible photographer. Yes. And, really and she, you know, she and her mom have both done a lot of wildlife photography. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she wants to make some like really, really awesome herping videos. Yes. So if, if, if herping, if you want to see me herp, we could potentially make some stuff that's really cool. Beautiful. We've been getting equipment for this yeah. over the last few years. Like we can do it. We can do it. And I would, I mean, it would be a dream come true for that to be a thing that I do for this channel. Yes. Yeah. Ash M said, Clinty and Leisha nominated most adorable couple 2020. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you. You guys are so, so sweet. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, make to make, I really hope that tomorrow's video blows up because they're fun to make. They're fun to watch. And Michelle has some really cool ideas. So if tomorrow's video is successful, yeah. I really hope we can. Make I, I, I really just hope it doesn't totally tank. You know, the thing is like, that's something I really enjoy doing, but there are a lot more people involved in the creating of, the creation of these videos than just me. Yeah. And so like, I, I want to do things that are worth their time. Um, but so let's just make it worth their time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is, is there anything else you you read your that, list? That that is my list. Did you have things Ooh, I need to add to that, that list? Because it was, was a, a heck of a year. List. Yeah, it's a great year. It, it really was. And I was feeling a little. I remember I was feeling a little bummed. Like, oh, the reptile room's still closed, and I don't know when we're gonna get to open, and it's not exactly where we want it to be. And then I saw a video or some pictures of where it was last year at this time. Mm -hmm. And last year at this time on New Year's Eve, I bought two couches and a rug off of KSL, which is like Craigslist for yeah, Utah. Local classifieds. Yeah, local classifieds. That's where and, we get most of our things. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that was pretty much everything that was in the reptile room. And our piano, no, the piano came a few days later. So it's just two couches and a rug. And that was it. Yeah, Anthony's piano wasn't even there yet. <laughs> And now, while looking at it, there's some beautiful enclosures. It's a place where people really do like to come and stay. We eat dinner as a family there all the time and hang out. My family will come and play games there. Like, it was really, I realized that I can't be bummed about it anymore because we've seriously, although it's not where we wanted it to be and it's not exactly where we want it to be yet, it's still, we've done some incredible things with it this year. Mm -hmm. It's been, I'm really proud of it and I'm, excited to watch it grow this year hopefully as the pandemic ends and more people can start coming to enjoy it we we were open two days a week for one month and even in that just little brief time it's like we got to see it working yeah. we got to see what it's how what it's going to be like and it's so exciting yeah it's so exciting because it is an experience just sort of unlike what you have in most other places yeah that you would ever go. And everybody who comes, like Clint just had a had a couple. A couple from Las Vegas come yeah. up. A couple from Las Vegas um booked. So we're not doing open public hours because of the pandemic, but we are doing where you can book the entire room for just your family or a party. So it's yeah, not like a small, so. small groups. Yeah. Um, for your event. So this couple booked the entire room for the for the afternoon with Clinty, and they were like, Where else? Like where else can we do this? Where else is there anything like this? And the truth is- It was is, so fun. Nowhere, like nowhere can you just hang out on some couches and hold some snakes and talk about reptiles or whatever you want and just hang out. And yeah, the, and the reality yeah. is we weren't even scheduling those sorts of events, but yeah. like they, they were really excited about coming and they were only two of them and I'm like, okay, I think we can do this. And now, uh, and th because that was so exciting and enjoyable and fun, it's like, I think we can start doing small, small groups. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was awesome. It was really yeah. fun. It's just, it's fun to see that again and be like, that's why we're doing all this. Yes. Because it's, it is so, 
it's just amazing. And it, it was a boyfriend and girlfriend, and he blindfolded her, mm. and it was a surprise for her birthday. So he unblinded, yeah. he took off the blindfold, and Clint was standing in front of yeah. her in the reptile room. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Happy birthday again, Jordan, by the way. Yes. That was amazing it was getting really to meet fun. you. Should we do some super chats? Uh, yes, I think we should. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my water bottle. Ooh, Grant, will you grab mine too? Yes, you, you, can, you can start reading it. Okay, I'll chat. start reading. This super chat is from Robin George. Oh, by the way. Is that the most recent one? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. No, it's the oldest one. Okay. This is a super chat button that some fans made for us. Clint used to say, super chat. And it made Jason laugh every single time. And so Clint was always joking, like, we just need a super chat button. And so some super rad fans sent this super chat button out. Super chat. That's another. Chat. We love it. That's another 2020 uh, accomplishment. All right. Super, super chat, chat button. button. <laughs> so Robin George said, hello. Can you explain what Chandler does when dealing with cobras, the hand slash feet displayed and then touching the back of their head? Happy New Year. Okay, so the ha uh, um, the hand feet display. So there's a lot that's going on with Chandler, and and I, he he would be able to explain it better than I can. But there's a lot of things that go on with cobras and their super close relatives like king cobras. One of the things about about cobras and king cobras that actually make them easier to deal with than a lot of other snakes like a viper is the fact that the way that they strike is they raise themselves up off the ground. And then they, they can strike as far as they can come down and forward, which is why people who are careful can come in and kiss them on top of the head is because they can't strike up. It's all down, down and forward. they're 15 feet long. They're super long, but they still can't strike up. I know, but even down and forward could still Oh, it can, they can cover easy. some ground. I'm not saying it's easy to handle a king cobra. I'm okay. just saying that's something that makes it a little bit easier. If it's a, uh, it, you know, if, if it's if it's like a, a rattlesnake and you try to kiss it on top of the head, like it can strike up at you and nail you with, with you know, fangs that protrude out almost straight forward. Yeah. Anyway, it's a different it's a different ball game. So so that's part of it, and 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 so you know one one of the things he can do, probably, you know, and I, I'm I'm not exactly sure of all the things you're talking about, but you know one of the things I was noticing that he was doing big time is like sometimes he'd bring his leg up higher than the snake. Now he's using his leg instead of his hand because he can take a bite in the shoe. Um, but, but, you know, he's essentially putting something between himself and the snake that the snake can focus on and could even bite and it would be okay. And I think he's he's kind of using that to to bring down the snake a little bit. So he uses his foot? Yeah, he, and he, was, he was way up on one leg, one leg super duper high. Oh, wow. You know, a very different thing about his style versus – what I, what I was doing with Nerd, and it's something that people brought up a lot. Nerd, they're like, why are you waving at her and stuff to agitate her? We're not waving at her to agitate her. The problem with handling a king cobra is they can come right back up your hook, and they're long enough that you can't really stop them. Yeah. And so, it, you know, if you're handling them with a hook, you need somebody out there that the cobra can focus on that's not you, because the snake could get to you. And so it needs to be on somebody else. So uh, those other people are just trying to get her attention. Right, they're not trying to get her to hood. I never saw Lilith not hooded. Right, there was no 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 effort needed to go is into that. Is that kind of sad? Does that mean she's always stressed? Well, she's 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 always uh, on on edge when there are people around. Yeah. And she'll she'll calm down as she gets more and more exposure to people. I mean, she was a wild caught leucistic king That's cobra, so and and she's probably survived as a leucistic king cobra in the wild largely because she's so dang tank tankerous. Yeah. And so, so she, she's you know, freaky. Oh yeah. But Lilith is a very fitting name for her. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, and so, so it's, you know, it, it wasn't to get her to hood or anything. It's just, you want her focused on someone that's not the person holding her. Mm -hmm. uh, Chandler though, he's oftentimes the only person there. And a lot of times he's working in sort of cramped conditions. So it is more, I mean, you, you watch, you watch the way he's interacting with those snakes. A lot of it is, keeping the snake not pointed directly at himself, which, you know, I do that with a lot of snakes I handle. It's just the consequences are nowhere near as grievous if yeah. I do get bitten. Yeah. But, you know, you're just trying to keep the head not pointed right at you. And then he's just trying to bring the tension down with the snake and, you know, and he's, but he's, he's gifted at it. I'm pretty sure I'd get myself bitten if I tried to get that close to the yeah. King Cobras. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's, he's very, this very is skilled. His life. And oh, he's absolutely. really good. And he does his research and he, he doesn't do it just for fun. He really is, trying to promote conservation uh, and do what he can. To this this is something I don't know is if it's being broadly uh, 
talked about, but you know, lately he's been trying on camera, especially to not demonstrate, uh, you know, free handling and, and to, to, to use hooks and other tools. I got to tell you though, with somebody with Chandler's skill set, I'm more nervous about him handling the snakes with hooks and things yeah. because it's harder to communicate your intentions to a snake. I mean, you know, the snake like a king cobra is not necessarily more likely to bite you than a non-venomous snake that's, you know, like a white lip python or mm -hmm. something. It's just, it's much worse if it does happen. But but in the same way, you can communicate that I'm not a threat to you and all that stuff. And that's very easy to do with hands and very difficult to do with hooks. And when you're handling like a 15-foot king cobra with a hook, that's a really different ball game than yeah. when you can communicate all that stuff. So yeah. I, I, I actually worry about him not free handling a little bit. <laughs> um, this is from, oh, Stephen Shepard just booked a virtual. Oh. A virtual. <laughs> I'm so excited, Stephen. I look forward to our, our chats. Yeah. Uh, this one is from Jas, J. Das Rylander. Sorry. Cleanse reptiles and some feed fill crossover. Okay, so this is a suggestion for next year. Uh, probably. Feed fill? I don't know what feed fill is. Me either. What's feed fill? I'll we'll have to look it up. <laughs> um, Sherry LBW, our friend from North, Car North or South? North one South of the Carolinas. North. We want to go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she said, while, chal while challenging, 2020 saw me land a new position in my job. Much better. Wow. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Added my first, then six more snakes to my family. And nice. <laughs> How many people have seen a pattern like that? I got one snake. Now I've got 40 snakes. <laughs> Two uh, weeks later. Generally Two weeks has been later. a good year for me. Happy New Year and may your 2021 be blessed. Thank that's you so awesome. much. I'm Congratulations. Yeah, that's really cool. This is so good to hear. We need more of this. Yes. Agreed. Um, Jana Celery sent a super <laughs> chat. Can I change your mind about green iguanas? LOL. Oh. I, it depends on what you think my mind is on green iguanas. Yeah, yeah. For I love them. And, and if it was the only pet lizard you could get, I would have one. And it is just that... For a green iguana, there's two things that are really important. Okay, one of them is the personality of the individual iguana. There are plenty of people that have had multiple green iguanas, and most of them turned out great, and a few of them are total buttheads. So some of it is the personality of the iguana. Yeah. The other is how much time and what kind of quality time are you spending with them? Like how, how much do you know how to work with them? If you put the right kind of time into it and enough time into a grizzly bear, they can be great. Like Bruce, is that his name? Uh, What's his name? The the oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, and I'm pretty sure it's not Bruce though. Yeah. Uh, I usually can come up. I know you do every time. Oh well. Anyway, iguanas are the same way. If you put a lot of time into them every day, especially a female, then she'll probably be pretty good. A male will probably be pretty good up until he hits maturity, and then who knows what mm -hmm. the heck's going to happen with him. Mm -hmm. And so that's my opinion on iguanas. If you've only had one iguana and it was good, and you put a lot of time into it, that, that happens. But I bet if you've had five iguanas, you will discover, oh, even if I do all of that, even if I put all that time and effort into it, they're not nice. And so not nice always. Yeah. Clint went to Florida twice this year. Both times he caught wild iguanas and took pictures with them and hung out with them. He loves iguanas. They're just maybe not fantastic pets. Yeah, I just don't want one as a pet. Yeah. And, and, and then the thing is, I would have one if it weren't for the fact that there are things like tegus out there yep. that are just so much better as pets for a big lizard. Yep. Um, the next one was from my sister-in-law, Moana. We read, and then Reptilian Ridges sent a super chat. Thank you for Zooming with me and my family, Clint. It was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for being there and yeah. just coming and saving the reptile room because it legitimately that's what we, that's what it does. Yep, it really those super chats are paying the rent and the utilities and mm. the insurance on that room. That yep. is what they're paying yes, for. Yes, that is exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Pavich, I'm so sorry. Bavin. <laughs> <laughs> I am so I sorry. I see it, no. Oh, I think these are some Yep, it looks like Pavich Bavin. That's what I said. Good job. <laughs> so if that's wrong. But those, we're that's both probably wrong. wrong. <laughs> I need a phonetic spell. Uh, In Peru, I would <laughs> spell out my last name Laidlaw using uh, Spanish phonetics. Oh, smart. So it was L E I D L A. 
then they could um, pronounce it. When they would see my other name, like I wouldn't even recognize it as being an attempt to say Laid Blanc really? when they would read it in English. The, uh, they said the opening, well, hi there, is a joke, right? You always do it with eyes wide open and super cringy. I love it and find it hilarious. <laughs> so it never started off as a joke. Like, that's just Clint. He has big mm. white eyes. His mom's eyes are even bigger than his. Yeah, these are my dinky little. <laughs> so he, he got blessed with big, beautiful eyes. And Clint <laughs> saying, well, hi there, was just Clinty. And it kind of has morphed into now you kind of do. Well, hi there. Yeah. But sometimes he'll be like, that one was too scary. Yeah. I to try again. Got a little carried away on that one. <laughs> got a little carried away on those eyes. Well, hi there. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh dear. Scared myself. <laughs> uh, okay, Love and Truth said, uh, sent a got four emerald tree skinks, so awesome. And bonus one looks gravid. My any advice would be helpful. Happy New Year to both of you and your kids, two legged and four cute. The, the biggest piece of advice, oh so a couple things. One thing is I have learned that they don't cannibalize their offspring. So you potentially can leave the eggs in the enclosure to incubate. Uh, you're still experimenting with that. Right, yeah, I'm still experimenting, but that seems like it's what a lot of people are doing. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, my first set of eggs, I pulled them and my incubator killed them. So it's like, okay, well, maybe. And now the whole enclosure is a lay box. So I'm like, I have no idea where those eggs are, but I don't need to dig it up all the time. They can stay in there. Second piece of advice I would have is just send all the babies once they're established to Clint's reptile room. That's in Springville, Utah. <laughs> I, I, I 284 South Main Street, Springville, Utah. Send all the babies. <laughs> I love them so much. I love them so much. I want so many more emerald tree skins. They're just unbelievable. Yep. Um, this one you're going to have to do because it's a super duper chat from Oz. He sent $50. Super duper chat. <laughs> Holy cow. Bigger eyes. Do it super again. Super duper chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and thank you Oz Oz is the, also the one we were saying that sent mm. out this computer mm. so thank you thank you happy new year Clint and Leisha fam and friends I appreciate all you do and wish Brad bountiful blessings for 2021 that is amazing thank, thank you, you so much thank you thank you uh, Dragon Whisper sent a super chat <gasps> just rescued a blue iguana and received my oh. pair of green tree skinks I've named them Clinty and Leisha, and I have two more coming Tuesday. I did my first Gorilla Glue backdrop for them, and it's amazing. I hope well all that done. stuff's going to show up on your channel. And if you guys haven't checked it out already, uh, definitely check out Dragon Whisperer on, on YouTube. Uh, and I really hope he's going to show all this stuff off. And he said they're green tree skinks. Well, emerald tree skinks, green and tree skinks, tree, they're, they're the synonymous same. terms. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'm honored. Green tree monitor and emerald tree monitors. Yeah. I'm honored to have an emerald tree. We're named after me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Robin George sent another. So much chat. Um, hi, Clinty and Leishy. I'd love an explanation of what Chandler does with cobras. Oh. Oh, that's one. Is that the same? So he the, he's sent another one, I guess. Mm. Okay. So. Was I guess more? we already answered it. Yeah, okay. that was okay. the same one. Um, but I liked that this time he said Clinty and Leashy. Yeah. <laughs> Clint's Clinty. I'm Leashy Bear, right? I don't so think I call you call Leashy, leashy sometimes. No, Leashy. Yeah. You do call leashy me bear. Leashy Bear. Yeah. There's a lot of names. It's too many. Yeah. Stop there. Uh, Anthony said, thank you. Let's see. HW. Yeah. Thank you again, my friends. You guys are incredible, true friends. That's so awesome. Thank you, Anthony. We're so yeah. happy. And he just sent a super duper chat. Super duper chat. $25 for the reptile room. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anthony. You're the best. I'm so glad you were able to be here today. Me too. Anthony's such a good guy. Um, for anybody who missed it, this is Anthony's new plaque that will go on the piano at the reptile room. Yep. We're excited. We're really excited about that. Um, Lena? 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 Um, so 20 euros for the reptile room. Greetings from Vienna, Austria. That's, That's a super, super duper chat. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Colby Watson sent a super chat. Thanks for being awesome, guys. Do the tree skinks have names yet? Yes, they do. Uh, let's see. Peter here. and. I'm drawing a blank. Okay. I was having trouble with. J Jade. Jade. 
Thank you. Peter and Jake. Gracious. For some reason lately, because she's green and I know it's like a precious stone, emerald is all that comes into my <laughs> mind. And I'm like, I know it's yeah. not that. It is Jade is her name. Jade. Which, okay, okay. You want some you want some deep seated nerdiness? Okay. Let me let me buckle up. Okay, she is not. She's named more because of her color and because of the stone. Yeah. But I also like it because, in the now, uh, no longer accepted as canon, Star Wars books from back this in the is day. Deep seated nerdy. Days. Okay, there was a character oh, named dear. Mara Jade, and uh, so I've already. Who's Mara Jade? Uh, she. I, would, I, I need to remember more details on her. You guys tell me a little bit more about Mara Jade. Um, why why I, I, she really stood out to me uh, more than anything was my friend Anne Marie and I, we would play Star Wars stuff. And, and so Mar, Mara Jade was in a lot of the books. She was like a friend of Han Solo's and and, and, and in their generation. Um, but then, you know, we had her as a character. Cool. Star Wars toys. Cool, cool. And it was awesome. We even had, we actually had a real Mara Jade action figure because Kenner made a Mara Jade. No big deal. Wow. Even though she wasn't in any of the movies. Um, Lauren Bevel sent a super chat. I'm super late today. I wanted to say Happy New Year. In 2021, I'm looking forward to more videos about ridiculous pets, anacondas, rattlesnakes, minks, etc. Those are so fun. Agreed. Those, those have been a lot of fun. And, and the thing is, you know, as much as they seem like ridiculous pets, they're also pets that people totally get all the time and and sometimes unknowing yes and so like it's not just like you know it's not it's not like doing a video on a t-rex which i would have fun doing but it's not actually something that people are getting themselves into this is people really buy king cobras on a regular basis wait somebody said who mara jade was okay. she was hand of the emperor and became luke's wife that's right she that's became right. luke's wife yes like and, and and Luke's story was very different. Okay, so than the movies. Oh, very very different. So so you know uh, Luke had his own training academy, and and uh, Han Solo's and 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 uh, Princess Leia's three children, uh, Jason, uh, Jason is Jason Jenna and Anakin. I think that's right. Is that right? Did I get those right. They were they were their three kids that that trained there with Luke and things were much, much more positive in the future of the new Republic than in the, the actual Canon movies. I did not know any of this. No, no you do. And knowing is half the battle. Okay. We're maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. How would you say G U N T H? The U has the two little dots on top. Gunther. Okay. Said so considering getting a um, Gunther. Consider considering getting a vinegar in any advice for where to get one and how to convince my girlfriend it's harmless, which we all know it's not or wait. <laughs> Probably show her the live stream where Alicia handles them. Yeah. I gotta admit, like every time I, you know, it took me a long time before every time I'd pick up the vinegar and I'd be like, Are you sure this is harmless? Because it yeah. looks not harmless. You gotta like gear up for a minute before yep. you pick it up. Um, I mean, if you can find anybody that breeds them, that would be the best case scenario. If if you're in the continental United States, then, um, you know, there there a lot of them that you'll find are wild caught, um, but I think they're fairly responsibly sourced, mm -hmm. and they're not being highly highly stressed through because they're not being transported very far for very long. Um, but there are a lot of there are probably a lot of good people. That supplied them, and I don't know off the top of my head. Where, where? Mine, mine was from Rainbow Mealworms, wasn't it? I think so. I think Rainbow Mealworms was where I got mine. Cool. Um, good question. Steel Strings twenty five twenty five said, "I'd love to see you do something on Demerals boas. I feel like they're highly underrated in that medium to larger size snake range." I will tell you, I have loved Demerals boas for forever, and I I adore them. I think they have one of the most beautiful patterns. Of all snakes, they're a really great size, and they are great pets. And um, yes, I think there's a very good chance that in 2021 we make a Dumeril's boa video and Brazilian rainbow boas, which I now have at the reptile room. And I have a lot to Richard. of really cool insight into Brazilian rainbow boas. Yeah, they're fun. Yes, thank you, well, Richard Bilbo. Um, Noonshine sent 20 pounds. <gasps> Bigger eyes. Shut up, you bitch up! 
<laughs> Wait, too big. your big eyes, small voice. <laughs> just saying there's been rumors of introducing Mary Jade in some of the multitude of TV shows Star mm. Wars is pumping out. Are you up to date on the Mandalorian? Some rad frog content there. You're welcome. Yeah. We are up to date on the we Mandalorian. Up to date on the Mandalorian, though I think we might still be we're still in that window where I don't think you're supposed to do spoilers. Yeah. But this is less excusable than when you had to skedaddle over to the movie theater to yeah. see it. Yeah. Are you ready to go to Patreon for a minute? Patreon. Let's do one more super chat. Okay. One more super chat. <laughs> super chat. Super chat. <laughs> Donnie S said, I got a gargoyle gecko in June because of Clint's video on them. Named it after Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. Also got yes. married August 2nd in Vegas. Happy New Year. What an awesome 2020. Yes. We got a gargoyle gecko named Drax, which I love. That's awesome. Drax, I enjoy Drax. Drax so is much. the muscly guy. Yeah, right? yeah, the he face. makes me so happy. Yeah, he's funny. And then they we, they got married August 2nd. That's Congratulations. So what a great year. Yeah, awesome year. Okay, we're, I'm popping over to Patreon for a minute. Patreon for a minute. Anthony. <laughs> Don't make fun. <laughs> Anthony said, hello, my friends. I would love to see you accomplish all you aim to accomplish in the coming year. Make the reptile room an even greater space than it already is. And forward education on these stinking rat creatures we share the planet with. Happy New Year. That's awesome. Because, because the reptile room is not just bleeding us dry, we I can tell you we've decided to uh, really start working on enclosures in yep. earnest in yep. 2021. Yep. Cute, the puppy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I don't know that this is Russian or something. Okay, yeah, those are some not English letters. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, sorry. we can't read them. <laughs> Starts with a B, though. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Would love to. <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see. Uh, they said, "Would love to see more guest guests on the channel for the mm -hmm. awesome folk." He is def He definitely deserves more screen time. Handling, free roaming, feeding, enclosure, taming, pretty much everything just guess. That's a good idea. That is a good That'd idea. Be fun. We should, we should make a video playlist. just called pretty much everything Gus Gus. Just a video. <laughs> the the other fun. thing the other thing we need to do is I haven't covered any of the other tegus. We haven't ranked yeah, you anything. You did five five tegus you've never heard yeah, of. Yeah, but we but I haven't scored any other tegus. I haven't scored red tegus, blue tegus, uh but Colombian black and whites, gold tegus. And that's a little preposterous because yeah. Gus Gus's video, he, he is going to get edged out by the King Cobra in the near future. But but his is still the most viewed single animal video we've ever done. Really? It's on Black and White Tegu, so it's Ooh. a little bit absurd that I haven't done more Tegu. Seriously. Um, I was going to say something to go along with that, but I just don't remember. I hope what it was. was exciting. It was. The next one, <laughs> oh, I remember. Tell the, to, let's talk about Patreon. Oh, well, let's talk about Patreon. What do you want to say about Patreon? Patreon's awesome, and it supports the channel a lot. Mm -hmm. We've got to do a lot of really amazing things because of Patreon, like going to Miami and filming with Chandler and Tyler and Nolan. And yep, going to Nerd. Who else did you All sorts of equipment. Thing? When we were out there, yeah. uh, with uh, Ty Park. Yeah, Ty with, Park. With Camp Kennan. Camp Kennan, yeah. Uh, Doing awesome stuff like that. It comes from Patreon. And Jason works really hard to make it worth it for you also. He provides so many awesome features. Really cool things. Whole extra videos. Whole extra videos that are really fun. They're like oh, yeah. they're like um, like bloopers, but also Lots Jason of content. will ask questions. Yeah. And, and Clint gives a lot of just... Yeah, really, it's not so much bloopery, but it is it is content that isn't necessarily part of like the structure of our typical videos. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, it's information stuff. about... The yeah. animals and, yeah. and things that, you know, like you might, the questions you might have about them. He's, he sits there all the time. We're making the video and he's like, I'm going to ask about this, 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 this. Yeah, I'll make notes and, and, then, and yeah. ask all these really cool questions. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think of that. And then there's um, a podcast on there mm -hmm. called Lizard Lunch that the boys do, William, Jason, and Clinty. And sometimes you ladies the, uh, guest star. Fun. The one really cool thing that we don't talk about very often is the Patreon lens. Every mm. time that view that they film jason will hop on and do a patreon lens and show the video the animals and um some behind the scenes stuff of filming mates so patreon patrons 
our rad fans and stinking rad fans always know what animals are coming up and what videos to look for. Also, patrons get videos early. Yep. So people will be like, why are there comments that are four days old when this video is released two minutes of it ago? It's because of Patreon. People get the link and get to watch all the videos early. And enough, enough. That's so much better than I ever do. What? I'm like, what are the things that we have? <laughs> <laughs> There's more, but it's that's fun. Jason really works hard on it. So mm-hmm. if you if you want to support us, hop on over to Patreon and Jason just linked it. Let's see, Caleb Sparto. Oh, and oh, asking <laughs> questions early for the live stream. Yeah, uh, Jason will always put up a little thing that's like any questions for the live stream, and we try to get through every single question before the live stream mm-hmm. is over. So that's another perk. Uh, Caleb Sparta said, more underrepresented. And by the way, Clint's a very hard person to get a hold of, even for his wife. He does not, like, when I'm trying to communicate with him, I'm like, I tried calling you. Did you get my text? And he's like, no, if you want to talk to me, talk to me in person. I'm like, (laughs) no, you need to be able to get a hold. Like, even for me, he's hard to get a hold of. So Instagram and emails and things like that, he's not he's not great with at all. So becoming a patron on Patreon is a way that you can really communicate with him and ask questions because we get through all the questions. Also booking virtual hangouts Mm -hmm. is a great way. Okay. Sorry. Moving on. Um, Caleb Sparto said more underrepresented reptiles. I just got an emerald green basilisk and would love Mm -hmm. a Clint video on them, specifically how to start handling them. We almost filmed a basilisk video a few weeks ago. And we still have a connection with somebody. So that probably will happen in the near future. Awesome. Um, Austin Eckerly said, a video on tentacled snakes. They're stinking rad with their little feeder feelers. They look like Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. They are very cool. They're, they're in our video of the weirdest pet snakes, but we haven't ever scored them independently. I will tell you, probably don't get them. Yeah. Is Dragon Ball Z a video game? No. Well, there are video games based on it, but it's an anime. Oh, I With see. Goku and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they go Super Saiyan. Um, Ed Estrella said a video on colored lizards or green keel belly lizards would be interesting. I agree. Ricky Troy mostly said more herping and the collabs are great too. Maybe do other pets, but keep it eighty percent reptiles and twenty percent other. My suggestion, but I'll watch no matter what. Cooking with Clint, I'd subscribe. I want to do that. Every time I ask Clint, he's like, nah, let's not. I'm like, can we do it today? Can we do it this week? Let's make a thumbnail that's going to be us cooking, and that's what we'll do for the live stream. Nah, <laughs> every time. Tell him. Tell him he has to do cooking with Clint. During the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, so Thera said, I'd like to see more vlog-style videos from you. I want to see how you care for your pets day to day, how they're doing, what you feed them what they get up to, et cetera. Oh, and definitely some cooking episodes with you and Leisha. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Keep telling him, guys. Ariana said, I love your basic best pet reptile and other animals, but primary, primarily reptile reviews. There's so many fascinating species you've yet to cover. Personally, I'd love to see your take on African house snakes and cape file snakes. Those would be really What's cool. What's a cape file snake? Cape file snakes are really neat. It's... It- Probably they've got very interesting scales, a lot like, not quite like a dragon snake, but of snakes that are kind of reasonable-ish to keep. They're very, very underrated, and I've never seen one in person, um, but they are they seem to make very reasonable captives. Um, can I do a little tiny tangent? Yeah. So I just hit you uh-huh. because I got excited. And Clint used to complain when we were first married that I would be aggressive when I was, like, losing at games and stuff. Like, especially lying games. I'd be like, you lied to me! And, like, <laughs> but it was just, like, a reflex. She's very strong. <laughs> but then we played a game with my mom last night. <laughs> and we were, it was a racing game, and she had a pen, and my brother <laughs> rolled doubles. It's right to 100. I don't know if you've ever played that game my brother pulled, rolled doubles and it was just a reflex she wasn't like being mean but she stabbed my brother with the pen and he was bleeding 
<laughs> and it made me realize it's in my genes. It's just reflex to be aggressive. You can't take it personally. One but time, I one have time, been better, huh? <laughs> yes, you've, you've been doing a lot better. Uh, the the beatings have have dropped off. <laughs> one time, completely. a coworker came and scared me in my classroom, and I beat him on accident. But like, I wasn't. I was, he was like walking away and I was still punching him. <laughs> I felt so bad. Leisha is very <laughs> strong. Okay. So the first time she ever came to uh, visit my, my uh, Don't. family it's in Colorado, <laughs> she, Don't. She, she sat in, in a, a recliner that we had at the house. And so it has one of those little things that you pull to get it to recline. And, and I, Clinty was sitting right next to me, by the way. Yeah, and I, I said, you have to pull a little bit hard in order to get it to go. She <laughs> broke that stick in half. There was a metal rod through the middle of it. <laughs> it was a metal rod with wood on the outside. And Clint's like, you have to pull really hard. It's old. So I pulled as hard as I could. And it Ripped it in <laughs> half. The first time I went to see his parents in Colorado. It and she's not so she's not nearly as strong when she can't be exposed to the earth's yellow sun. <laughs> Her, what do I call you? Hercules? Yeah, Hercules. Anytime <laughs> if I'm like opening a pickle jar or something, it's like Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. So sorry I hit you, but I just realized that that was reflex, and my I, it's probably but these, in my see, genes. And these, yes, yes, it is. But those those are not the the, the bludgeoning, angry punches <laughs> of of somebody losing it. Were you going to tell them about my fork? Yes, I was. Maybe you should tell that story. No, you. So one time, Alicia was Alicia and her mom were kind of sharing a ring. I don't we know shared all. We to... shared like shoes and jewelry and all sorts of things. Alicia was wearing the ring. Her mom wanted the ring, and Alicia didn't want to surrender the ring. And so her Opposite, mom. Opposite, but yeah. Is it back? It was all back. It's okay. all backwards. Okay, so her mom was wearing the I ring. I was going on Alicia a date with wanted Clint the and ring. I wanted the ring. She didn't want to surrender the <laughs> ring. I, Alicia probably tried to steal the ring I right did. off of her finger. I did. She defended herself <laughs> by stabbing Alicia in the arm <gasps> with a fork. <laughs> And like that also <laughs> left blood and scars for a while. Bleed. I did not bleed. Was there was fine. a mark for a long yeah, time. There was. <laughs> it was all in jest, though. It was all good fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry for the tangent. Kim said, I love your best pet reviews. They are so good explaining the needs and, and basics of animals, maybe some deeper dives into care and biology about some and the most common pet reptiles. That's a good idea. You know, with, with some of them, I generally, I don't think that YouTube is the best format for a detailed care guide. Yeah. And, and so, you know, our, our goal has never been to provide care guides, but really just to give you a feel for is the level of care required for this something I'm wanting to provide for it or not to help me get an idea of, is it a good fit for me? Um, but especially with the animals I've kept more, I would feel more comfortable going a little bit deeper. If, if we ever start to run out of animals to cover. Yeah. Would... That was originally the plan mm -hmm. where you, he would do like the rating and then go into depth on their life history and evolution and biology. Yeah, of really just the five, stuff. the yeah. first five. That was, yeah. that was the, that, that was, was the, the plan. full plan for the channel. Mm -hmm. And then it, then, then we did the top five or five of the best pet lizards. Yeah. And then it has spiraled out of control since then. Yep. Um, Tony Smith said in 2021, I would love to see a video on lighting. Lighting is so confusing mm. and complicated and the manufacturers don't seem to do a very good job in, of informing consumers on the best and intended uses of their products. Could you mm. cover wattage, UVB, UVA, heating, LED, fluorescent, mercury vapor tubes versus compact when ballast is needed? Mm. Um, how to know how far away from your reptile to place the bulbs and what? Five zero ten point zero and twenty point zero means that's a great. That is a great, great suggestion. That's yeah. a great suggestion. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Um, Terra Tiger Studio. So, will you be attending any expos in twenty twenty one? I know the next NRBC show is in February. What's NARBC? That's that's like Tinley. Oh. Uh, North American Reptile Breeders, Breeders. Conference. That might be it. Uh. I would, I, I, yes. If, you know, as long as, as long as, so right now, obviously I'm 
trying to avoid large groups. We are we are in the group of people who have not had COVID yet, which is unlike the rest of Leisha's family, who all had COVID. So, mm-hmm. but like when we were said we were with their parents and stuff, it's like, well, they all just got through COVID, so yeah, they're We've pretty been good. Done with COVID for a couple weeks, so we felt it was pretty safe to go. Yep, yeah, but we haven't had it, and we're kind of trying to keep it that way. So, uh, I'm you know for the for the near distant near future. I'm probably avoiding stuff like that. We'll see if this February one happens. You know, we'll see how things go with the vaccine rolling out. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, as, as soon as, as soon as we can, yeah. I'm going to go to every reptile expo I can justify. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Doug Smith said, partially edited by Jason to remove spoilers. I really enjoyed your next video coming out. Is that tomorrow's oh. that we already talked about? Yes. So the herping video. Spoiler. I would love to see more along with more of your classic best pet series. Keep them coming. Doug's, Doug is one of the few people that got to come to the reptile room in person, and he came out several times. Yeah, it was so he's awesome. A good guy. And uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm, yes, please let me know what you guys think of the video tomorrow because yeah. if you like it, I would love to make more. Yeah. If not, like every time I make a video like that, it means that there's some other video we didn't make. So obviously, there's trade offs. Yeah. Um, um, this one's from Mario Jones Jr. Collaboration with Nerd for Articulated Pythons, the best pet reptile. Oh, we could do that. I also, I, I mean, I know a lot of people here locally that have yeah. big old retics. It's just yeah. uh, the, the, more of a logistics issue. In fact, in fact, we were actually, when we did the Burmese Python video, we were all set to do a Reticulated Python video the same day, but the retic was deep, deep, deep in shed. Yeah. And so we didn't do it that day. That's right. And now we're just sort of, I, I mean, there's so many people we could do retakes with. If I go, if I go back to nerd, which I would love to justify, what should we do when we're there? Yeah. Good question. Alba, uh, Kapatos, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm moving. What, what absolutely love to see something about dart frogs. Dart frogs are fun. Yes. We intend to do dart frogs probably, yeah. probably in 2020. We do have a partnership with Josh's frogs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's got to come up, right? You would think so. Um, Betty Morgan said, bioactive enclosures, if something is moving to a different tank, can the old tank be used for another animal without restarting the enclosure? Yes, though I would I would give it a little bit of time in between animals um, and, you know, kind of do, do a lot of spot cleaning and stuff. Just make sure all the fecal matter is broken down by your cleanup crew and, and everything before you make the transition so they're not being exposed unnecessarily to high levels of the bacteria that might have been present, say, in the digestive tract of the previous inhabitants. Um, Betty, let's see, Ashley Barrett said, frogs, crabs, newts, uncommon paludarium, lizards, and anything emerald tree skink related. I will justify any emerald tree skink video I can justify. Yep. They're so wonderful. Um, Nick Morris. Every week, head to head, emerald (laughs) tree skink versus duck for the... (laughs) I just every week. You're not giant squid versus emerald juice. <laughs> Nick Moore says, "Does the morph slash type black and white blue chacoan, 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 etc. of tegu change its size and temperament?" Yes. Um, morph, not oh, as. Oh, sorry. Calm down. Nice. This is a Patreon, <laughs> just so there's no confusion. So uh, those are those are a lot of times are different species or at least different. Uh, kind of localities of tegus different species can really matter a lot as far as size and temperament and uh but but a lot of those are fairly similar you know um especially as far as temperament you know reds blues chicoans the uh, argentine black and whites they're they're all pretty great cool um amy berry says perhaps an everybody eat segment to chart the food web from phyloplankton to apex predators the global carbon cycle Red field ratio, phytoplankton, oxygen production versus biomass comparison, and best spring Arctic waters to proliferate in. Yes, I ended on a dangling preposition, but feel I accomplished making a point. Happy New Year, Clint Leisure Production and Eddington team, and Owen, Penny Rose, and Martha. Well, I am an ecologist. Would you guys like ecology videos? That would be fun. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of ecology. I don't know how popular. Is that all of them? That's all Patreon. We have Patreon. Patreon. We have succeeded with Patreon. That's exciting. Are there more super chats? There are. <clears throat> super chat. 
I felt like you needed to be wearing a bow tie while you made that face. I knew I've, if I would have had one. <laughs> um, let's see. Where were we on our super chat? Um, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Kaylor's Aquatics sent a super chat. You guys are looking awesome in the new year. Enrichment ideas for a ball python and an Indo, Indo blue tongue. Happy new year. I've been thinking a lot about ball python enclosures. Um, one really interesting thing that I saw at, at Chandler's house, this was an evening, but he had a, a like a perch like you'd put in for a green tree python in with a pair of ball pythons. And both ball pythons were just up on the perch. That's so interesting. Which was really fascinating. You wouldn't think. And then, then I've been hearing different things about hides for ball pythons. Um, some people were, were talking to me about how if they had pieces of slate and, and then like a tube down into a tunnel underground, they preferred that far over above ground hides. And, and so these are just sort of enclosure builds, but just kind of things like that really could be really interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> The Wicked's <laughs> Wicked Reptiles sent a super chat. Hey, Hi, Adam. How are those human children of yours feeding this time of year? Do they escape their enclosures? <laughs> they, it's a little bit easier to keep them contained this time of year because of the cold weather outside. Um, it, it, honestly, like we'd probably like to have them uh, free range a little bit more <laughs> so that they can get out some of their energy and be a little more docile inside because, because they're also free ranged inside the home. Um, but pre COVID in winter, I used to take the kids swimming a lot because yeah. it's indoor and you can get a ton of energy out and have tons of fun. I don't do indoor swimming in the summer because we're at lakes and ponds and streams and rivers exploring and hiking and stuff. So winter is like my indoor swimming time with the kids, but it's, it's COVID. So I don't know. And yeah, we, we've got the one male and the two females and the two females feed really well really well on really everything. well yeah i mean in the, the the younger of the two she was nursing before medical professionals got here <laughs> yeah so like like and she she I mean, she eats like a monster and so does the older female the 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 male used to <laughs> he used to uh eat everything but uh, he's dear. he's become a little pickier. But we've been working on that because picky picky eating don't live in my yeah, house. Yeah, that's not picky that's eaters not do not live in my house. <laughs> you ready to move on? Yes. Uh, let's see. Eerie Rogue sent to super chat. Clint, do a top five most neglected pet reptiles, please. I'm not sure what you mean by neglected. neglected so yeah, yeah, maybe like maybe a little clarification. Forgotten or ne neglected, like not being taken care of properly. Yeah, because probably the most neglected would be hardy reptiles that are also common. Yeah. Uh, things like ball pythons, tortoises, yeah. uh, red eared sliders. Um, Keith Payne sent a super chat. Clint, you should play the board game Evolution by North Star Games. I think you would enjoy it. Also, I'd really did enjoy we play that one with Kevin? a Mandalorian rat snake video. I think we did. Mandarin rat snake. Yep. Sorry. It just <laughs> came out. Mandalorian. You didn't even... Bat and I, like, of course there's a Mandalorian rat snake. Yep. These nerds. <laughs> these nerds naming all these snakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what was before that? Uh, the Evolution by North Star Games. We've oh, yeah. definitely played it. That's Evolution. one with Kevin that I'm we played? I'm pretty sure we played it with Kevin. Uh, and yeah, that, that I'll, I'll, I'll look into it and make sure that's the one we've played. But that was fun. And then uh, Mandarin rat snake, absolutely. Those are cool. Um, Scott R. said, my daughter Lily is getting a millipede. Thanks to you, we know that they don't have toxic hognaths. Yes. No That's toxic awesome. guys. Excellent. In all caps. I'm so glad you seized the opportunity to say toxic on death. Um, I'm really excited for our merch in 2021 because I read a list on last live stream of all the ideas, and oh my, I just want I want to buy everything. I don't know if they've talked about this, but if I could have a mask, I think this bothers Alicia for me to even mention. This. If I could have a mask that would give me toxic on death. <laughs> That's so freaky. Would they just be tiny human arms? No. Long fingernails. No, I'm thinking proper centipede face. Like a, just an up-close centipede. Oh, that would be so stinking rad. 
So there everyone was a mask. Talked to me. Everyone voted against it, except I voted for it. I, didn't I like loved it. At all. I loved it. It was a mask of Clinty's face. So it had his teeth, like his smile and his beard. So you would put it on and then you would have Clinty's smile and beard on. I wanted that mask so bad. I thought it was so, so, so funny. And Clint's like, this is disgusting. I'm like, it's so funny. I want to wear your beard and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Not like that, though. I don't even know what like that would be. Like Dwight, <laughs> uh, the dummy. When oh. they're learning CPS. <laughs> <Excuse> the face. <laughs> okay, sorry. I miss the office, I guys. Let's keep going. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Kaylor's Aquatic sent another super chat. I hope you and your family are keeping your tetanus shots current with a... <laughs> I Why actually, does that what does I don't that know. have to do? I think I'm due though. Um, every time you're pregnant, they give you a tetanus shot. Oh, yeah. So at least that has whooping cough in it too. So T dab. Yeah. Um, let's see. Lady Gecko Foot said, "Thank you for having an excellent and family friendly channel. I second the reptile lighting video request. I would also like to see a video on small mm, testudo sp testudo species." Yes, okay. Indoor beginner tortoises. That is a good idea. We haven't even done Russian tortoises as a, their own video yet. We need to do that. Yes. There's so much. People are like, you're running out of ideas. No, we're not. We're not so even close. we haven't even done like house geckos and long tailed grass lizards and brown and knolls. Have you done Veiled Chameleon yet? Nope. Yeah, we haven't even done our logo yet. <laughs> 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 um, Blue Sten said, Happy New Year. I'd love to see a video or series on how to green the hobby to have less of an environmental impact. Thanks. That's a good idea. Yep. Good question. Yep. Great question. As of today, what I've been thinking about is we need a push for nuclear fusion. What? Why? Let's just start this dialogue. Because if we had basically limitless energy, we wouldn't have to destroy the world. It's true. All right. Hudson Schwartzman uh, sent five Canadian dollars. Ooh. I would love to see some update videos, possible revisions, think, things you'd like to reiterate, et cetera. Happy New Year. I love that idea. Um, I watch I've a, talked about that. You know, some of the early videos, especially like crested geckos mm -hmm. and leopard geckos, a lot of that I was saying those off the top of my head pretty much. Mm -hmm. I was really before I started scripting things out very mm -hmm. much or anything like that. Like that was just off the top of my head, and and I wasn't very good at talking to the camera consistently, and our audio is not good, and it just, I, I'm tempted to re remake them. Yeah. I I really think it'd be cool for you to do update videos on enclosures, enclosure builds, and how it's lasting, and the plants you've switched out, and what worked, and what didn't work. I watch a gardening channel, and she does updates of all the things she plants, and it's so fun to watch as the years go by. Like, wow. Jason's like, but I was thinking <laughs> that you could do these little updates on Instagram oh, yeah. stories. Instagram would be good. Clint doesn't use Instagram stories. I keep trying to talk him into it and teach him how to do it because you can save your little Instagram stories. So it could be like enclosure update reel and then it could have all of those. And I think it would be cool. It'd be really cool to have updates like that. So good suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, those are all the super chats and all the questions. And we're through our list and it's almost been 30. Thank you, Martha. Yeah. She did a good job. Yes. Well, guys, Happy New Year. I am so excited to see what 2021 has in store for all of us. Yeah. Please, again, you know, like if, if you're watching this now, comment them here on the side. I, I love to just see the great things that are happening. Comment them in the comments. You know, I'll, I'll see those always. Like even if you're watching this like six months from now, I'll still see your comment when it comes that in. reads up. A lot of the comments. Yeah, I read almost all of them. And, you know, yeah, it's just, I, I, you guys took the time to write it. Yeah. I try to take the time to read it and, yeah. and respond when I can. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Happy New Year. We hope to see you real soon. Bye.